So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I'm going to basically guide you through the entire Millicent quest line, which at the end of it, you have a choice between two incredible talismans, two of the best in this game. You can either get the Rot and Wing Sword Insignia, which greatly raises attack power with successive attacks, or you'll be able to pick the Millicent's Prosthesis, which boosts Dexterity, raises attack power with successive attacks. The choice will be up to you at the end of the quest line. Now this quest line does, uh, well the first part of it takes part in between basically two or three graces within the Khalid area, a lot of swamp involved people. So what we're first going to do is actually activate a couple of graces prior to starting this quest just so you ain't got to be running backwards and forwards between these actual two NPCs you will be interacting with at the start of this quest. So what you first want to do is guys come to any grace around this area. Now you could have these unlocked already but for those that haven't you want to come to a grace north side of Khalid. A popular one most people have got is Fort Faroth where we killed that giant white dragon, the idle white dragon and got all those runes for absolutely free. So this grace point is where we're going to spawn in at and then we'll run down to here which is the church of the plague. So just follow the location I'll go on screen now guys down to this church of the plague because here there is another grace point we will want to activate. So once you are at the church, people uh, activate the grace because this is the place we're going to come back to at least two or three times. Now from here, you want to go to the Celia Understair Grace, which is here on the map. As you can see, I've already got it unlocked because there's an NPC nearby. And as far as I'm aware, this is the closest grace to him. And it saves us running from this church off a cliff, which can kill you. And it just, it probably takes an extra 10 seconds just to load in here and run rather than jumping down off a cliff. I just think it's a lot easier. So from here, we're going to head to the Celia Understair and unlock that grace. So follow where I go on screen now, ignoring all the enemies, obviously. She don't want to play about with them. Okay, so this is the grace we will be using to go to the first NPC before we go back up to the church. So we'll always come back to this spot. Instead of jumping off that cliff I just jumped off of, we saw my horse took damage and if you ain't careful, you will actually die from that drop. So from here guys, to actually start the quest, we want to head to this shack right here. Go to this shack. So mark that on your map guys. Or if you ain't got that located, just pinpoint where I've got and just follow the route I take on screen now. Quite easy, quite straightforward and you're going to have to do this route about four or five times so you'll quickly get used to it and it isn't that far as you'll see. Now what I will say is guys there is a dog here who is extremely violent he actually messed up my quest line he actually came into the actual the shack and killed the npc ruining his quest line for me so also massive shout out to osiris 
for actually recording me the majority of this footage. Without him, this video wouldn't be possible. If you want to check him out and show him some love, his Twitch will be found linked down below. So within this chat guys, you will start this quest with an NPC called Goldie. So speaking to him, he will ask a favour. He wants you to help a young girl, Millicent, found back at that church's grace we just activated. So upon speaking to Gallery, he will ask you to acquire a golden needle in which you have to come to this spot on the map guys and defeat a boss called Commander O'Neill. So follow what I go on screen now to this boss from this shack and take out Commander O'Neill. Upon doing this people, you will get that needle. There's also a grace here as well which you may just want to activate. So upon acquiring the unalloyed gold needle, return back to the shack and to Goldie. Upon doing this and giving him that needle, he will give you Celia's secret. And here you just want to clear out the rest of his dialogue. He will ask you to return. So what you want to actually do is guys, reload back to that grace point we just activated, the Celia understair, and then just run back here. Upon doing this guys, he will give you a needle. So again, take it, clear out his dialogue and you are good. Upon doing this guys, you want to return to the Church of the Plague using that grace point we unlocked firstly in the video. So do this guys and you'll see Millicent sitting or leaning up a wall. You'll probably hear her weeping. Here, you want to talk to her. Upon talking to her once, clear out all dialogue, exhaust all dialogue and it should give you the option to give her that needle, which is what you want to do. Upon doing this guys, what you want to do is, after you've exhausted all dialogue, go to the grace point behind you and just change the time. When you get back up, you'll notice she'll be standing up now and she will now give you the prosthesis wearer heirloom, which isn't a bad talisman to be honest. But the quest goes on. Now if you go and sit back at that grace point again guys and change the time of day again, when you reappear you'll notice she has disappeared. Now you want to head back down to Gallery Shack. So again guys, loading at that nearby grace, cellular understair and just run here. Upon you getting here you will notice that Gallery is gone now, but Millicent is actually here. So you want to speak to her guys and clear out her dialogue, exhaust it all. From here guys you want to fast travel back to the cellular understair grace point and then run back here again. Upon your returning guys you will notice that now Millicent has gone but Gary is now back and he now becomes a vendor for you to purchase things from him. Now from here guys we need to find Millicent again. Now guys, she's actually located right near the Earth Tree Grazing Hill Grace within the Atlas Plateau, as you can see right here on the map. This is where she'll be, but if you ain't got this grace point guys, I'll run here from the Grand Lift of Dectus. Now you obviously need the Dectus Medallion to activate the lift to get up to this area, so search your guide if you're unsure about that. So from here guys, follow the route I take on screen now to the Earth Tree Gazing Hill Grace Point.
So once you find her guys, you again need to clear out her dialogue exhaust or dialogue. From here, you need to go and grab the Valkyrie's prosthesis, which can be found in a chest guided by a single clean right knight within the shaded castle, as you can see right here on the map. So from here guys, follow the I take on screen now to this shaded castle and get what's needed here guys. Once you have this item guys, return back to the Earth Tree Grazing Hill Grace, run back to Millicent and give her this item. From here guys, you need to come to the Windmill Village Grace Point. If you haven't got this unlocked guys, follow the route I take on screen now to get to this Grace Point. I will two times speed the video here because it's quite a trek but if you're having a problem actually following you can slow it down using YouTube's actual playback features.
Now, once you get to this windmill grace point, guys, you need to follow the route I take up this hill to the very top, ignoring all these crazy dancing women. If you don't hit them, they won't hit you back. Simple as that. At the top of this windmill village, there will be a boss called the Godskin Apostle, who I will say drops an incredible weapon upon you defeating him. So yes, you will have to take him out guys. So once you've taken him out, activate the grace that appears right next to him. Then what you want to do guys is load back into this windmill heights. Upon you doing this, you will see Millicent right here. Here guys, you need to talk to her again and exhaust all her dialogue. Millicent will now move to the ancient Snow Valley Ruins Grace within the mountain tops of the Giants. Which, if you haven't got unlocked, what I'll do is I'll run from the Grand Lift of the Road. Again, I'll do this in two times speed, but if it's too fast for you, use YouTube's uh, playback feature to slow it down because it is quite a trek and some people may already have Grace Points in and around this area already unlocked. And I gotta think about everybody while doing these guys, people. So follow the path from the Grand Lift of the Road on screen now and eventually you'll get to the ancient snow valley ruins So as soon as you get here guys just basically turn around or right right by the grace she's there on your left so here you want to speak to her guys and again clear out all that dialogue once you've done this guys you then have to come to the hallig tree area which if you don't know how to get to you've actually got a guide linked in the video description which showcases how you actually get up to the hidden path to the hallig tree using the hallig tree medallion and then actually gain access to the Hallig Tree via a secret portal located in Aldina, liturgical town, seen here on the map. But yes, once you get to the Hallig Tree area, guys, you have to come all the way down to the prayer room grace point. Now, if you have no idea how to get here, I will run you from the very first grace point within the Hallig Tree area, the Hallig Tree canopy. This will be the first grace point you actually spawn in at when you first get access to this area via the portal. Again, this will be done in two times speed, Use YouTube's uh, playback features to slow it down if needs be.
Now, once you get to the prayer room, guys, obviously, if you haven't already, activate that grace point. From here, guys, speak to Millicent and clear out all that dialogue. Once you've done that, guys, you want to progress all the way on to the drainage channel grace point. This is a grace point we actually use to rid ourselves of the rot buildup getting to here. So just follow the path I take on screen now, guys. I won't speed this up because it can be a bit awkward to follow. So yes, do that. Get to this grace point and I'll catch you back in a quick second. So once you get to the grace point guys, obviously activate it, then come back on yourselves, go the way you just came in. Upon doing this guys you'll come to this point right here where you have to walk steadily along this log. Upon making it across guys you'll now have to take out this mini boss, this ulcerated tree spirit, who can be a bit of a pain in the ass. What I did was I just basically carried him into spawning in, then ran back on myself, jumped on the log and ran up the log and as you can see I took him out of the comet as well. Now if you have any ranged sorcery this will be easy for you. If you're going here with a melee build, it will be a bit harder, but take him out guys, and you are ready to progress. Now once you've taken out this mini boss, you now have to reload the area, so go back to you guys, that drainage channel grace, and then come back to this very same spot. Don't worry, that mini boss will not spawn in again.
From here, you have a decision to make. What talisman do you want? Do you want the rotten winged sword insignia? Which again, guys, greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Or do you want Millicent's plus thesis? Which boosts dexterity, raises attack power with successful attacks. This is where you need to make a choice. Because when you come back to this area, guys, there will be two summon signs near where the mini boss used to be. You, as the player, can either be summoned into a world to help Millicent against four NPC invaders called the Millicent Sisters. Upon doing this, you'll get the Rotten Wing Sword insignia. So if that's the one you want, you need to be summoned into her world to help her against the four NPCs known as the Millicent Sisters. Or if you want the Millicent's prosthesis, you need to be summoned as an invader in order to challenge her. But there's more to think about than just that, guys. Because if you're summoned into her world to help her fight against them four NPC invaders, the quest goes on a little bit further, where you'll also get the unalloyed gold needle, which can be used at the flower in Melania's arena in order to receive the Michaela's needle, as well as a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. These are what you will get if you decide to be summoned into her world to help her fight those four NPC invaders. If you decide to be summoned as an invader in order to challenge her, this will grant you the Millicent's Prothesis Talisman, but the quest then ends there. So it is up to you in what path you take, and in reality what talisman you want. Now there is a few other guides on YouTube posted which showcase a method in getting both talismans that has now been patched and does not work anymore. So it's either one or the other. So if you decide that the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia is what you want, select to be summoned into her world to help her fight the four NPC invaders, the Millicent Sisters. So upon you killing them guys, you will be returned to your own world. From here people, you will be rewarded that Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. Awesome. But from here, you want to reload the area again, going back to that drainage channel grace, and then running back here, as I do on screen now. Upon doing this guys, where those original summons were, Millicent will be lying there on the floor next to the rot. Here you have to be super careful because if you jump on her or even near her, it can kill her. So you want to walk around to her. Once you do this guys, speak to her and clear out her dialogue. Upon doing this, you will be rewarded the unalloyed gold needle, which like I said, can be used within the flower in Melania's arena in order to receive, well, something that may just add something to the ending but I won't spoil anything guys. You also get a Samba Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, which is a must, we all need these things. But there we have it guys. This is the end of the quest and now the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out. Again, massive shout out to Osiris for recording me the majority of this footage. Without him, this video would not be possible. So check him out and show him some love. His Twitch can be found link below. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.